Hey, what's up guys? Coach Bobby here. I just did a quick workout, my Tuesday workout. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, guys. I, I'm telling you guys right now, I have a dream, right? I have a vision, I have a goal. My vision, my dream is to become what I'm calling a greatness coach, right? A motivational speaker and a greatness coach. What I wanna become in the next two, three, four, five, ten 10 years is somebody that everybody goes to, to figure out how they can be and what they can do to become the best version of who they are. That's what I want to be. That's my goal. That's my dream. That's my vision. And with that comes some stuff. Right? With that, I understand what I want to look like when I go on stage. What I want to sound like when I want to go on stage. What kind of brand I want to embody. That's passion. That's fight. That's fitness. That's health. That's drive. That's grit. And that's persistence. All of that is what I want to embody. So that means I got to work out. That means when I walk on stage, I want to look a certain way so that I get the attention of those people I'm talking to. That's why I do it. That's why I live it. That's why I can get up and do a workout because I want to be somebody. I want to look a certain way. I want to be a certain way. I want to elicit a response from people. And that's my dream. That's my vision. Right? And I'm walking every day into that purpose. Not because... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be cocky or I'm going to be arrogant about how I look because I know that this is part of the brand I want to show the world. Part of the brand that's going to make me an effective motivational speaker, an, an effective greatness coach, somebody that companies and parents and teachers and young athletes can call upon to help them become whatever they want to become. But what's your dream? Right? What's your vision? What's your goal? Because for me, I've always had something I'm going after. I'm 48 now, but I've always had something I was going after. When I was a little kid, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, I was going after football. Right? I wanted to be an NFL football player. That was my dream. And I was chasing it and hunting it with passion. In my 20s, I went back to school. I wanted to be somebody who had a master's degree. I wanted my mom and dad to be proud of her son because he had an MBA. So that was my vision, my dream then. And then after that, guys, my goal, my vision was to become a CFO, a chief financial officer in a big company and helping companies build and grow into multi-million dollar companies. That was my dream. That was my vision. And I chased it with the same vigor and intensity that I did for football. And after that, guys, you guys know this part of me already. After that, I went on to build a fitness brand, right? A fitness brand that embodies chasing greatness. Not just abs and shoulders and legs and biceps, but chasing greatness. And now I'm taking all that stuff, right? And I'm using it to go forward. To become what all that was meant to develop inside of me. And that is a motivational speaker and a greatness coach. Right? Not just the people trying to lose weight, but anybody trying to get the best out of themselves. Companies, teams, coaches, parents, teachers, spouses, children, adults. That's what I'm doing. But here's the secret, guys. Here's the secret. Right? All you have to do is one thing. Whatever your dream is. What is your dream? Right? To lose weight, to be lean. Right, to get a degree, to build a business, to have a better relationship with your children or your spouse. If you're young, maybe to get a scholarship in football or basketball or baseball. What is your dream? Because I'll tell you right now, getting it is a lot simpler than you think. There's really only one prerequisite to you getting what you want to get. And you've heard me talk about the five steps to greatness. Right, Coach Bobby's five steps to greatness. Step, step one is you have to want it. You have to want it. You have to wake up every day and smell it and taste it and feel it. And then walk into the world and embody it. Right, every single day I wake up with a sincere want to be your coach. To help you become the best version of you. I wake up every day with a sincere desire to do that. So the step one is you have to want it. Step two is you got to believe it. Because many of you might say you want it, and maybe you do. Many of you have the tools to get it, the books, the seminars, the workshops, the diets, the workout programs. You have what you need, but step two is you got to believe it. You got to believe it's possible. 
You have to believe that you can do what you say you want to do. But if you do both of those things, if both of those two steps have been satisfied, if step one is checked, you want it. You want it bad. You wake up, you taste it. If step two is checked, if you believe it's possible, if you wake up every day and you know that inside you is the ability to get that thing you say you want, if those two are checked, then the only thing left, the only step really left, there's three more steps, but the only real step between you and your dream and your vision is you can't quit. That's it. That's the only prerequisite is you can't quit. Because most dreams, right, most dreams and most desires and most goals have either an infinite, infinite window or a window long enough for you to make it. Right, if you're an athlete, you have four or five, six, seven years to get to your dream. Right, if you want to be a doctor, you have four or five, six, seven years to get to med school and residency. Right, so that's long enough for you to figure out how to get there. And then for most of us who are older, it's infinite. Right, to figure out how to build a business, to figure out how to lose weight, to figure out how to develop a bond and a relationship between you and your children or you and your spouse. It's an infinite window. And the only reason you will fail is if you quit. Right, you want it, you believe it. If that's true, the only thing between you and your dream is quitting. And you don't want to hear that. And no one's going to tell you that. I'm telling you that. If you don't make it, you quit. You want to lose 20 pounds? If you don't lose 20 pounds, at some point, you quit. You want to build a business? Right? If you don't do that at some point, you quit. You want a better job. You want to start having a career and not a job. If you don't eventually get that in the next six months, nine months, 12 months, two years, you quit. Coach Bobby, yeah, I'm, I'm pointing the finger at me too. Coach Bobby, if you don't eventually start speaking in front of thousands of people, you quit. I told my boy Chris in my class, if I don't eventually get 5% body fat, which I will, then you quit, Coach Bobby. That's it. So the flip side is that if all you have to do is commit, you can't lose. If all you have to do is marry your dream, then you can't lose. If all you have to do when you show up on shore with your battleships is turn around and burn the battleships and tell the forces in front of you that you're not going back, if that's all you got to do, you can't lose. Unless you quit. So we early in 2021. Right? And a lot of shit's going on. I get it. No excuses. A lot of stuff's in our way. I get it. No excuses. We're kind of, you know, our, our, our hands are tied. We can't do certain things. I get it. No excuses. Let's decide this year. Let's decide now. That if we really want that thing we say we want. I want to lose weight, coach. If we really want that thing, we say we want. I want to get a scholarship in basketball or football, coach. If we really want what we say we want, I want a better bond with my daughter, coach, with my son, coach. If we really want what we say we want, I want to be the top, the top real estate broker in my area. I want to be the top sales agent in my area. If we really want that, all we got to do is commit to not quit. That's it. Commit your ass to not quitting. That's it. It's going to hurt. Right? It's going to be sometimes frustrating. It might even be sad sometimes. You might even get depressed about it sometimes. You might even feel silly for dreaming about that sometimes. But if you want what you say you want, I'm telling you, the only thing between you and that is not quitting. So, I want you guys to say after me, right? In this year, starting now, going forward, our only thing we're going to do, guys, this is it. We're going to commit to not quit. All right? Say it with me now. Commit to not quit. One more time. With me. With me. Commit to not quit. 
I love you guys. Again, let's go forward and let's commit to not quit.